welcome to TLH patterns this is Pradeepa today I'm going to show you how to crochet this baby blanket or throw using two colors the stitches used in this baby blanket are the basic crochet stitches nothing fancy so it is suitable for a beginner the baby blanket that I made is a very small one measuring approximately 28.5 inches by 30.5 inches um, however you can uh, make it in any size to make it in your desired size, just make chains and multiples of 6 plus additional 4 chains. For my blanket, I used approximately 420 yards of uh, medium worsted weight yarn in pink and 105 yards in yellow. Along with it, I used a 5mm crochet hook and also a measuring tape. You can use any yarn and a suitable hook. First. Make a slip knot. Then make chains in multiples of 6 plus 4. I made 106 chains but mine is a pretty small blanket more like a crib blanket. Um, if you want a wider one you can add chains in multiples of 6 to the 106 chains. Okay, now skip 3 chains from the hook. That is the first chain. 1, 2 and 3. And into the fourth chain, you are going to make 2 double crochets. So then make 3 chains. Then skip 5 chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and work 5 double crochets in the next chain. This 5 double crochet is called a full shell uh, and initially you made 2 double crochets and those 2 double crochets along with the chain 3 will count as a half shell. Again chain 3, skip 5 chains, 5 double crochets in the next chain. You will repeat this across 3 chains, skip 5 chains and 5 DC in the next chain. So once again, chain 3, skip 5 chains and 5 double crochets in the next chain. Repeat this across. Okay, we have come to the end of the row. Now finish the row with a half shell that is 3 double crochets in the last chain. Now row 2, pull the second color through the loop and tighten the loop and start working using the second color. Make chain 1 and turn. Single crochet in the first stitch. Then Chain 2, now you have 5 chains in the uh, foundation row, so you are going to work in the second chain, so that is the ch second chain, make a double crochet in the 
second chain. Now chain 1, now skip 1 chain and make a double crochet in the next chain which is the 4th chain. Then chain 2 and work a single crochet in the third DC of the next shell. Again chain 2 and work a double crochet in the second chain below. Then chain 1, skip the next chain and make a double crochet in the next chain. Chain 2, single crochet in the third double crochet, chain 2, double crochet in the second chain, chain 1, skip 1 chain and double crochet in the next chain, chain 2, single crochet in the third double crochet chain 2 repeat this across you will finish the row with a single crochet in the last stitch We will finish the row with a single crochet in the last stitch. Then row 3. Now pull the main color through the loop and tighten the loop. Now we started the previous row using the main color with a half shell. So this row you will start with no shell. So chain 1 and single crochet in the first stitch. And now chain 1 and work 5 double crochets in the next chain 1 space. Between the 2 double crochets. Next is chain 3. And then work 5 double crochets in the next chain 1 space between 2 double crochets. So continue working 3 chains and 5 double crochets in each chain 1 space across. And you will finish the row with a single crochet in the last stitch. So this is easy to remember. You started the first row with a, a half shell. And... Uh, the next main color row you will start with no shell and the next row using the main color will start with a half shell. So this will repeat alternately. This is how your third row will look. After the last full shell, make chain 1 and work a single crochet in the last stitch. Next is row 4. Pull the second color through the loop and tighten the loop.
turn and work a double crochet in the chain 2 space one row below uh, that is the second row so now work a double crochet into the chain 2 space of the second row then chain 2 single crochet in the third double crochet of the next shell again chain 2 make a double crochet in the chain 2 space one row below chain 1 double crochet in the next chain 2 space one row below then chain 2 single crochet in the third double crochet chain 2 double crochet in chain 2 space chain 1 double crochet in next chain 2 space chain 2 single crochet in the third double crochet chain 2 double crochet in chain 2 space chain 1 double crochet in next chain 2 space chain 2 single crochet in the third DC repeat this across we have reached the end of the row chain 2 double crochet in the last chain 2 space and then double crochet in the last stitch next is row 5 pull the main color through the loop we started the previous main color row with no shell so this row we will start with a half shell chain 3 turn and work 2 double crochets in the first stitch this is a half shell then chain 3 then work a full shell in the next chain 1 space so here in the next chain 1 space we will make 5 double crochets which forms a full shell then chain 3 followed by 5 double crochets in the next chain 1 space Again, chain 3 and 5 double crochets in the next chain 1 space. Repeat this across the row. We will finish with a half shell that is 3 double crochets in the last stitch. Row 6 pull the second color through the loop. Now you will be repeating rows 2 to 5 until you reach your desired height this row is a repetition of row 2 which starts with chain 1 and single crochet in the first stitch followed by chain 2 double crochet in the chain 2 space 1 row below then chain 1 and double crochet in the next chain 2 space 1 row below chain 2 single crochet in the third double crochet then chain 2 double crochet in chain 2 space 1 row below then chain 1 again double crochet in the next chain 2 space below chain 2 single crochet in the third double crochet so repeat this and uh, 
repeat rows 2 to 5 until your desired height is reached. I'll show you how I weave in the ends. You can use uh, your needle but I prefer using a crochet hook. I use a smaller hook to weave in the ends. So I just use the hook to pull the loose end of the yarn through the stitches. So I just pull them through a few stitches and then uh, cut the extra yarn off. You can follow this method or you can use a yarn needle whichever is convenient for you. Use it. Now I'll show you how to work a simple border. After you complete the last row, pull the main color through the loop and uh, chain 3 turn and work double crochet in next stitch then a double crochet in the next chain 2 space double crochet in next single crochet double crochet in next chain 2 space double crochet in next stitch double crochet in next chain 1 space double crochet in next double crochet repeat across working double crochet in each stitch and double crochet in each chain space
on all the four sides and repeat one more round of uh, double crochet please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also please subscribe to my channel to receive updates on any new uploads thank you